Greetings and welcome back to Planet Centauri. I'm Catherine of Sky, and last time we explored the various biomes of this wonderful world uh, on the surface. Now I think I would like to focus on the quest at hand, which is crafting a soul gem using the amethysts that we gathered in the early part of the quest. So I think that is in this menu. Ah, here it is, soul gem, right there. Okay. Now we need to capture a monster. Now this is going to be interesting. Um, so let's let's go and get a monster first. Let's see what kind do we want. We could get um, maybe a zombie. It's okay. The thing about it is, it's kind of like in other games where you capture monsters. You have to weaken them before you can actually capture them. So I don't really want a slime, so I really want to get one of these zombies. Oh, there's one of them. But we don't want to have him at zero health. So we may even need to get a higher level monster or switch to a lower level um, weapon. Oh my god, it's a purple zombie. Wow, okay. Uh, hello. What is your... Your health is at that. Okay, let me catch this gem. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, God, shoot. Ah. Oh, aha! Ha, 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 boom! Got him. Okay, summon the captured monster. All right, so let's... Okay, we just throw the gem on the ground, and there is our monster. Yo, come on, dude, let's go. I want to see him go up against here's a here's a, a a different zombie oh i forget which one of these is more powerful but you know what i'm gonna let him kill stuff come on zombie go ahead eat him up oh, 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 oh. okay aha so i don't know if you could see those those particles those green particles oh okay yeah this uneven terrain is not great for them Come on, go kill that guy over there. That one, look, look, he's over there. Oh, there's another one here. Okay. Come on, come on, kill stuff. I'm trying to get him to kill stuff, but he's... These guys are kind of iffy because they jump around a lot. But anyway, I don't know if you saw it in early part of this hunting campaign or not. Let me just summon him back. Um... Did that work? Wait. No! He got knocked out. Shoot. I was trying to summon him back, but I think I forgot how to do so. Anyway, when they kill stuff as a monster, there are these little green XP thingies. They're, they kind of are similar to, to how souls are generated, but they're green uh, little balls that land on the ground. They don't float like souls do. Anyway, those green things help your monster level up. So he's got a, right now it says KO, he's knocked out, and he's at 15 or 16 of 25 HP. So over time, when they're knocked out, they, as you can see, the HP is going up very, very slowly. So um, basically we'll have to get him up a little bit and we need to then train him so basically let him kill other stuff you can do this by partially killing other monsters and having them your your creature do the final blow sort of thing that's a pretty easy way to do it um or going into other kind of monster killing situations when they get to a higher level as you can see he's level one at the moment and he's a rare one so that that's kind of cool i've never had a purple zombie before that's kind of nice okay so let us find out what is the next quest Oh, he's actually ready. Hey, you know what? I'll send him. Let's go to the other side. And I want to I wanna kill some stuff with him. Um, I might need a... Wondering if I should get a lower class boomerang. Or a lesser sword. That's another option. So this does, let's see, nearly 14 damage. So I want something less than that. Like maybe... Um, Erg. Ooh, a shark sword. That's that's okay. That will that will do, I think. 
Okay, so let's use this. Wow, that has some really nice teeth on it. That's awesome. Okay, so let's throw out our monster again. All right, great. So this guy, I'm gonna hit him once. So he has 10. Okay, there we go. Now you can see the, the little green uh, particle thingies. Come on, monster. Are you, oh, you're going somewhere. Great, okay, so this is just monster to monster. And if we look at our soul gem, it says uh, next level in 25 XP. So let's go and find another monster to kill. Aha, yo, he, there's one over here, dude. Okay, so I, I hit him once, so that takes down his HP to half. <gasps> oh dear, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> Okay, all right. We're gonna leave this until later. <laughs> Dang. That, that, no. Oh, sadness. Okay, let's find our other sword that we had. Um, where? Did, oh, here it is. Okay. Gee, Louise. <laughs> Jeez. Ugh. Come on, game. Why won't you cooperate? I'm trying to do this for, for, for a video. Will you work, please? <laughs> No, in reality, at level one, uh, they they die really easily. So it's kind of hard to train them up. But anyway, that's how you would do it if you did do it. It's, um, you know, get down the HP of enemy monsters and then go and let your your pet or your summoned soul gem monstery person um, let them, you know, do the final blow. Okay, so let's find out what the crystal has to say to us next. Transformation. Gather 10 amethysts and 5 steel bars. Use the advanced crafting table to build a transformation table. Transform into a slime and gain 50 experience points. Use the experience points to unlock the next transformation. Okay, we can do this. The transformation table is a powerful magic tool that will allow you to morph into a multitude of monsters and even use their abilities. Every monster killed during your transformed state will grant you particular souls that will allow you to unlock new monsters to transform into. Alright, so let's go and build this. I think I might have all the bars required. Here it is, transformation table. Excellent. So let's go and shove this up here, since it's kind of a... Oh, there we go. Okay, and looks like we need to buy these with some kind of points, possibly souls. I don't really want to transform into a slime, but I guess I should... Oh, it's free. Okay, I'll get the free slime. The free slime transformation. And we can just drag it up here. Excuse me. The other one I want to buy is... Um, you can be a wisp too. <laughs> wisp is actually really good because it enables you to fly. So that's kind of cool. But I think I will also buy a zombie. Can I buy this? Oh no, I need, I need experience. Okay. So let's just be a, um, a whatchamacallit for now. We'll be a slime. We shall be a slime. Boom. Let's get out of the slimy state because it takes forever to walk around. <laughs> All right, so let's get into a slime. I forgot if you can... Whoa, okay, that's how you attack things. Great. Cool. Oh. I gotta... You know what? I should, um... I should bridge this gap here with platforms or something. Because it's kind of a difficult one to cross that way. I want to get to some enemies that I can possibly... Here we go. Let's go. Arr. Arr. The thing about slimes is they're, they're incredibly hard to... Um, kind of work with. Because they jump a lot. Okay, I'm just going to stay in one spot. There we go. I did something. Okay, I killed something. Oop. Okay, 
Okay, that's not working. No! Oh my god. That, uh, that, that bird is, is kind of dangerous. Excuse me. Okay, did I get any points as a slime? I don't even know. I got one, one point. Oh my, that, that's a black slime. I think that's like one of the rare ones. Cool. I think, of course the other way to do this is also, you can kind of do it in a cheaty fashion. Okay, let me just, oh, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going up in health, that's for sure. The other way you can do this is to get your guy and you can turn yourself into a slime and benefit from your, your friend's help. Okay, those guys are actually down in health. Come on, guy, can you kill these things? So I can get the XP? Hmm. Aha! Well, I got one of the XP. <laughs> Boom! Okay, so then I got 20 XP, and of course my poor guy did die just then. Okay, looks like I can't affect that, um, the dinosaur thing, the repti. Okay, slime part chipped onyx. Well, this is going to be slow going, I think, if I need to do it this way. And my, uh, my little guy is not working well, so I need 50 experience points. Man, that's a lot. There we go. Got some more then. I think I think the slime is just kind of annoying to control. It makes it really difficult. But that's okay. I actually really like going uh, with the zombie. That one's kind of fun to do. Come on. There we go. Aha! We can um, use the experience points to unlock the next transformation. Though it's funny, it, it said 50, but it seems to have activated like at 30 or maybe 35. I don't know. Okay. There we go. But I think what I would do is just like save them until I could get um, the kind of an easier to control creature. Like the, uh, the zombie is pretty good for that. All right, so let's see what else. I'd like to show you the rest of the creatures that can be unlocked at the moment. So you can have any number of different slimes, basically. Oh, and the next one is 50. It does cost 50, so I think it might be just a tiny little um, glitch in the way that the quest is set up, <clears throat> because you do actually need 50 to do that. Uh, and one thing that I would like to suggest to the dev is if there is a way to see how many of these experience points there are, because it doesn't show over here, so I don't actually know how many I have. But I would like to get this guy. This is the zombie, and this is a scorpion, and then you have various reptiles, and this is like a worm. One of the worm creatures that we have been looking at and killing in, in the last episode. Oh, here it is! Never mind, there it is. The, the number is right there. Okay, so there we have um, 37 experience points and obviously not enough to buy one of these transformations. So I think we'll have to give up on that. But, um, oh, and it's that's, that's the next part of the quest. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Hmm. So, oh, it looks like we got two of these masks. Interestingly. One thing I'd also like to do is get another soul gem so that we can capture another monster on our uh, journeys around the place. Looks like I need more chipped amethyst too, so probably one of the next episodes is going to be about um, um, about mining, I'm thinking, because I'd like to get my pants matching the rest of my outfit. I feel kind of 
interestingly fascinated, if that's a word. Peculiarly attired might be a better way of putting it. All right, let's see if we can find anything else. Anything, oh, there's another slime. I don't know if I should go on and entertain my myself by killing these things or not. Hmm. <gasps> a giant slime, a giant one. Didn't give me much. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. See, I don't really want to go up against green ones because they're already a level ahead. Of course, the other thing I could do is like kill them half with a sword. A weaker sword, obviously. But hmm. And then I could just kill them as a but uh, you know my my guy is ready. Hey, we can we can go together. We will be slimy critters of of the night killing stuff. Hey, zombie. So the way it works with pets, by the way, is that when you catch one of a different rarity, it'll be the color of that rarity and essentially you will know what skills they'll have when they grow up uh, or when they get more XP basically. So, but they, they obviously they start at level one. What? He already got killed? No. Oh, aha. I got something. I have 40 now. This is good. Oh, I hate when they get like on the wrong jump area. So you could never, you could literally never get them. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can find some more critters. Critters, where are you? There we go. That's the way to do it. Kind of walk up to them and then basically then you can attack them. Come on, Repti. Come over here. I'm ready for you. Aha! Oh gosh, I did some touch damage. Look like it. Okay, I can actually unlock the next one. So let me do that. Yay, I finally got over 50. Uh, and just in case you're wondering, it does actually cost some stamina to turn into these different forms. So that's the one thing that you'll need to keep in mind is I, I don't know how much they cost, but they do cost something. So it's advantageous sometimes to stay within the form rather than changing back and forth all the time. Okay, so unlock the next one. Let's look at this thing. The next one is this one. <laughs> okay. And I will use this one, I think, instead of that one. Can I just get rid of this somewhere-ish? I don't know. I'll put it there. It'll it'll sort somewhere in the whole world here. Oh. Oh, that's right. Okay. So that's my pet. Great. So now we can... Oh, yes. We need to find out what else this the crystal wants. Hello, crystal. Free the Chloridians. Find one of the prisons where Chloridians are held captive and defeat the guards. Free a Chloridian from its prison. Go back to the surface and give the freed Chloridian a job. Okay, let's accept this. This world, a long time ago, was ruled by the Chloridian race, a powerful and thriving species, but also non-violent. They welcomed with open arms visitors from space. These aliens claimed to have lost their planet in a tragic accident and needed a new home. What the Chloridians d didn't realize before it was too late was that the visitors did not come alone. One night, the apocalypse came upon them, brought by an abominable creature. The whole Chloridian civilization had collapsed before dawn. From this gruesome day on, the Chloridians have become slaves and lab rats. Now their species does not have a lot in common with their ancestors due to the terrible experiments that are conducted on them. 
If you want to leave this planet someday, you will need their help. Free them and recreate the civilization that was once ours. You will find captive Claridians in the depths of the world, scattered in many places. Once freed, each Claridian will appear next to me. You will then have to come back here and inform him on the skills you want him to develop. You will then have to manage the village. Make sure to provide them shelter and protection against the nearby dangers. If by misfortune one of them dies, you don't only lose a villager, but also all of his knowledge. That's pretty drastic. So I think in one of the previous episodes we did actually find a Claridian, but we will continue this quest um, next time because we have run out of time for this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Skye. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.